ड्यूरेशन so we are going to name certain of the characteristics uh, of those periodic signals and their interrelationship and we going to see the graphical visualization of these uh, characteristics right so out of the various characteristics uh, some of characteristics are very important and those are basically i'm going to discuss here right so number one is the time period so what is the time period time period is a uh duration of one cycle right so if you read here what i have written here duration for one cycle is called fundamental time period or a simple time period right and the second thing is related with the cycles as well the number of cycles which are completed in one duration right i'm going to show you the graphical representation as well but i'm just giving you the definition the number of cycles represented or completed in one unit time that is of course a second uh, is known as a frequency right or fundamental frequency so the time duration in which you complete one cycle is known as time period simple time and the frequency is the number of cycles we are not talking about only one cycle this time we talk about number of cycles which are completed in one second is known as frequency and the relationship is kind of uh, they are reciprocal of each other uh, it is shown in this specific window right if you see this formula frequency is basically f not and time is t not and they are reciprocal of each other right so if you calculate one so you can calculate the other end as a, other as well right so let's go to the graphical representation and i'm going to take an example okay if you are going to observe in this specific graph there is a sinusoidal signal shown i'm going to explain what is the sinusoidal signal in coming tutorials as well in details but right now in this tutorial i'm discussing the visualization of periodic signals so it is a periodic signal and you see that the a pattern is basically kind of repeating itself right if you see it is it, it goes from here it goes to a peak value then it comes down back and then Uh, after certain duration it goes to negative peak value and it come back to the its original position and then this pattern continues uh, for uh, indefinite period of time in this specific graph i have shown the time period from 0 to 8 second the unit of this time is basically the horizontal axis is time and its unit is supposed to be uh, second right and uh, the value is basically x of t so its x of t is a signal which is a function of time and it completes uh, one cycle after certain duration and that is the definition of what uh, time period so if i am going to uh, visualize that time duration for which because this is going to be vertical horizontal axis so if you visualize this one second right this one second uh, for or the cycle for uh, which you complete one complete cycle in given time is basically time period so in one second you see that the complete one cycle is completed in this specific example so you can say that time period in this example capital t is going to be what one second right i am taking a very simplest example because in one second you are assuming that or in one duration you are assuming that one cycle is completed so it is also true that uh, if i am going to ask you that what what are the number of cycles present in one second so it is also one and that is called frequency okay that is called frequency and its normal unit is what hertz right but you can also say that number of cycles per second right so this is also true here in this example right so let's take another example and let's calculate these values for that graph as well okay yeah, this is another example and if you are observing it uh, there are various cycles which are completed in one unit in in one unit time right so for example let me show you you see this is the time axis it starts from here zeros and it's 
uh, one unit or one second is completed here. So this duration, if you see, you, you see number of cycles are present in this durations, right? So this is uh, in one second, the number of cycles which are being produced is known as what frequency. So let us count. Uh, so if you see that uh, basically cycle is started from here, this position, it goes to this maximum value and then it arrives back to the negative peak value and then it goes to the its original value, right? So this is one cycle. And again, if you see here, you, you complete three cycle. Eventually, if you notice it, if you margin it with certain uh, parameters, so you see that uh, this span of time is already passed, but uh, one second is not completed, right? So if you clearly see that one second will be completed at this instant, right? So one can observe that uh, you are going to have another positive peak, right? And then it's come back to this negative position and it is not completed for the neg negative half of the cycle, right? So you can say that two cycles are completely completed or are completely uh, executed in one second, but the third cycle is not complete, but rather it is half. So you can say that there are two and half cycle, right? Two and half cycles are completed during this duration. So one can also say that the frequency of this wave or frequency of this signal is 2.5, two and half or 2.5 hertz or 2.5 number of cycles in one second, right? So if I'm going to talk about what is the duration or what is the fundamental time period for this signal, then it's quite easy. One way to calculate it, just to, rest, to calculate the reciprocal of this given frequency, and that would be what? One over, uh, sorry, time period. We're talking about time period. It is equal to one over 2.5, or is eventually equals to what? Around 400 milliseconds, right? So the time period for this, uh, signal shown in this diagram is around 400 milliseconds because if you calculate one over 2.5 it becomes equal to 400 milliseconds right and if you want to visualize that duration for which uh, you have only one cycle is completed that is equal to this duration if you see it 400 milliseconds it is equal to 40 percent of a second right so basically this duration is equal to what capital t uh, this fundamental time period of this signal, right? So this duration is known as fundamental time period for this signal, which, which is equal to around 400 milliseconds and its frequency is 2.5 hertz. Let's take one more example just to be sure of everything. Okay, this time I'm going to show you I square wave. In last two examples, we have discussed two sinusoidal signals, but in this time I'm uh, displaying you a square wave. So if you see uh, the fundamental time period and fundamental frequency, they actually remain same by definition. So you have to just take for one second duration. So one second is around this one, right? So if you go for this time period, in one second, you see how many cycles are completed. There is a positive cycle, right? And it follows back to this negative cycle. So over here, one cycle is completed. Then or we can see that another cycle is completed at this position, right? And then third cycle is completed at this position. So there are three different cycles are completed in one second. That means the frequency of this specific signal is basically, okay, that was the last time we show it. It's three hertz because there are three cycles completed in one second, right? So what will be the duration or fundamental time period it will be one over three that means it will be around uh, around what 333 millisecond right 333 millisecond or 33 percent of one second right so uh, if you want to visualize it again it's quite simple that should be what one cycle only so one cycle duration is this one right and if you notice it it's clearly uh, one can notice it that it is less than 0.5 and to be exact is around 0.33 second or 3333 millisecond, right? So that's how you actually can evaluate the time period and the frequency of any signal uh, by looking at its graph. I hope you have understand these two characteristics and how they can be evaluated. If still, if you have any confusion or uh, 
questions about these characteristics, please feel free to post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.